had to uh, I had to play in a goofy band with my dad and fix electronic guitars for a year to have enough money to buy my first PC. I was wondering where that story was going. That was, was cool. Like, yeah. Here's my <laughs> Battlefield cool. Hardline story. Uh, but I, hey, first thing I installed on it was Final Fantasy VII, so figure that one out. Uh, second thing was Quake Two. But uh, good story. Cool. Yeah, thanks. Cool. Was it was it a weird out cover band? Huh? You said it was a goofy band. Oh no, it was an American folk music band. We had uh, we had uh, uniforms that involved suspenders and hats. Yeah, Joel. I don't know how I'd never told you this before. <laughs> That's amazing. Wait, um, wait, 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 wait. Can we table all talk of video games to talk for the rest <laughs> of the podcast about? Lawrence's American folk music straw boater suspender harmonica band yes. fun time jamboree. We only had a harmonica oh, once. Oh, we had we had more hammer dulcimers than we had uh, harmonica. You had more hammer dulcimers than one. That's an incredible statement. So he once I'm gonna go back to what I said earlier. I miss James. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what this is scintillating conversation. No, you're trying to be funny and it just hurts. Oh, oh damn. Adam. Uh, you know, that was me, and I'm school sorry. School and Lawrence and I had a really good time without Ooh. you and yeah, 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 yeah. without you here. It was yeah. really it sounds nice. Sounds like when a man's dick gets ripped off live. Yeah. What did you guys do while we weren't here? We played indie games. I don't need to tell you. Lame. I was lame. That's lame. fine. Lame. So one thing I want to discuss about Hardline that almost no one has talked about here. Uh, we've talked about it before. Okay. I love Joel, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Adam yeah. doesn't obviously. We all do. We were talking. We were talking at lunch. Uh, <laughs> it takes a true friend to make oh. fun of you to your face. That's true. Uh, and so I don't consider. I, th I think Adam's a total dickhole and he's rude, w but he's also a true nice. friend. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I said that we did. We did a. Ooh. We did a panel uh, with YouTube landing? at PAX. And one of the things I said, um, like, I said something kind of mean to Turbid, he was there. Yeah. And oh. I forgot, it was some kind of, like, backhanded comment or whatever, oh, and Turbid. I made it clear, I was like, you know, I only say mean things about you if I like you. Right. Especially to your face. Uh -huh. You should be worried when <laughs> I say nice things to you. It means and, you're plotting. Yeah, exactly. So you tell your wife, too? Oh! <laughs> yeah. That was a video I love you, that's why I'm yelling at you! Spool, I can see you, what are you, Photoshop and Crash Bandicoot? Yeah, Get back man. to work. That video needs to be done in an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, seriously, because I gotta upload that shit. Alright, moving on. What are we talking about? How, um, how Visceral may not have been forced and probably wants to actually develop the game? Kind of. I was talking about why they just kind of slapped the Battlefield name on there. Which then again, I mean, they use the Frostbite engine and all these other things, which makes sense. It's proprietary of EA, they own it. I was saying, back when I worked in casting, I remember the script came through and it's called Godspeed. And it's about these idiots who are out on a boat, all these rich, dumb white people. And they all go out in the middle of the ocean and they all jump off the boat. And they're all just hanging out out there. And there's, oh, and someone realizes, hey, we didn't drop a ladder. And so they're out in the water this whole time. This script came in around the time Open Water came out. Remember that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple out in the water? Yep. Based so, on true events. Based on true, sort of. I, don't, I mean, sharks live on Earth based on true events. <laughs> that happened the to end. a dumb couple from my hometown. But, um... Wait, wait, wait. wait I was saying, roll, roll back for a second. What is this? What is this about? Open Water. Oh, it's about, like, two people that get stranded in the ocean for, what, how many days? Yeah, there was, it came oh, I'm sorry, Adam, are you upset that someone's interrupting your stupid story now? <laughs> interrupting? Oh, He's asking what? me to say the, tell it again! Because <laughs> he was going through the menus reading stuff, he wasn't paying attention. No, I was... After explaining it, that's frustrating for the audience. He was like, he just said it. I already know <laughs> You guys are talking about two different things. Are you saying it's the exact same plot? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying by the time this script came in sure. for it's called it was called Godspeed, dumb people jumping off of a yacht. Open water was in theaters and had just become popular. So they greenlit the movie, right. changed the name from Godspeed to Open Water 2, mm. and just said, move on. Same exact story with Saw 2. And same with Die Hard as well. Yeah, exactly. Die Hard 5 was the so, same, same thing. Sort of thing and where they're three. like they're like, this feels enough like a thing that already exists yep. if we slap this name on it, and we know this doing freaking news every day for the last few years, that if you do, if you put a name out there that no one knows, they're not gonna watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like- And game companies definitely know that. Star Wars The Phantom Menace was originally Pluto Nash 2. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, but they they're like, well, the first one didn't do so well, but it's a great idea, so let's make it Star Wars, and everyone will go see it even though it's shitty. <laughs> yeah, if only there was the name Star Wars had existed beforehand. Dyer, Dyer 3 was originally called Simon Says. It was the same with, uh, if you guys remember when we covered Destiny long before it was popular, yeah. uh, we were, because we were like, we know this game's gonna be big, we're trying to cover it, and we kept covering it and nobody was watching. And I remember like there was just like a, a switch flipped one day and we covered it and it did a lot of views and all of a sudden people wanted to see Destiny. Well that's that's another little uh, little hot tip for all you, you hey, news hey, junkies hey, out there. We're snappers. <laughs> um, we Google trend every word we put into the title. Mm -hmm. That's not it shouldn't be your, you know, the number one factor in how you do things, but we can always kind of gauge what people are searching on yeah. the number one search engine in the world. Yeah. For example, that's why um, uh, uh, the the word and trends higher than the word of, so that's why we call all of our 
we title everything Call and Duty. Yeah, right, call not, of not Duty. Call of Duty, right? Call that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I knew Joel was going with a joke there. I just was waiting for it to develop. Yeah. So. Yeah. Nice you, job, Joel. You can see it hatching. In I stutter stuck my way there. <laughs> just failing, always failing. Um, um, describe it. And Overwatch? Overwatch was, I'm telling you, it's first person smite. That's what it is. It's mm. a combination between Team Fortress 2. Uh, Are you going to say it's like Smite with some sort of... With, with map objectives. No, no, I'm saying it's like first-person Smite. So Smite with like uh, something that no, shoots a projectile. It no, it's not guns, because there's magic and all that other bullshit, or who cares, but it doesn't matter, whatever. It's got a lot of guns, and bows and arrows. And, and cyborg things. bullshit, I don't and know. And talking gorillas. Either way, Overwatch is Get fucking up. awesome. Yes. Good kill. I sure we gotta look at fan art. Regardless. Yeah, fan art. Alright, so Padabite. Did us all up as Minecraft characters. I don't know. Ooh. I think he did this before. Yeah, he redid um, this as Funhouse. Well, we got added... Funhouse references now. Yeah. So Bruce has got a little snap CD. Got a double sided lightsaber. Ooh, Still lightsaber. farting. Always yeah. farting. Always. Adam's got his uh, zip tie <laughs> handcuffs yeah. and a Mjolnir hammer. Is that what that is from Halo? No. Am I misplacing that? It's what Mjolnir that? armor, and that's a oh, gravity sorry. hammer. Oh. oh. That's right, because the brutes use. use Whatever. Sorry, Adam. Sorry, right. dork. Hey. Sometimes being the last Halo fan is a, <laughs> is a privilege unto itself. They got uh, one yeah, of the words privilege. right. Uh, James has a little master sword in his char nut. Whoa, whoa, whoa hey! hey. Why? Whoop. Slow down. Oh, jeez. It dragged a picture. All right. All right. Uh, and then Joel's got his, what do you call them, Chris's? Chris, Chris blades. I don't what? know. Those yeah. are danger daggers from Skyrim. Yeah, sure. But Chris's are daggers that, are, that have like weird curves and edges. So I'm, It's from Skyrim. Yeah, but yeah, great. Great. <laughs> and your gold chain. Look like a 50s greaser. It's awesome. I got my hey, I got the uh, the danger cover. Hey. Oh, okay, I miss oh. James. <laughs> and then Spool's Joel, got his... come be on the podcast. They said. <laughs> oh, we need you to come sit in because James is in here. Spool's got it's his been little a real fun experience. For he's me. got his dollar and his little weed zoo oh, bats. Four twenty. It's his four twenty shirt because he's we he's high all the time. Oh, you got it. And then you I got my little school. got a drumstick and a cup of coffee. Yay! Yay! Uh, oh. Troll <laughs> Troll Bertofu. God damn it. Oh, jeez. Oh, right. here, here, I'll scroll for you. It, it, it will not help. I'm much better. Why don't you just have a mouse? I don't know. It won't reach. You, you say, like, Joel, you can you, buy you're a, one of those guys on the internet that's like, why don't they just do that? It's so Lawrence, simple. Lawrence, you can go buy a $15 USB you're using, you're using two fingers, wireless right? mouse. I, I, that's what makes it freak out. Lawrence, Lawrence, why don't you say we're at Santa Monica Seawolf, shut up, everybody. Santa Barbara, Barbara Seawolf. <laughs> Is the best best rendition of the uh, the mascot I've seen so far. It's really good. That was really from good. the Predator uh, of the Seas. I was on the on the spot episode. <laughs> That's right. Bruce and James. Uh, I love Santa Monica. Uh, did you guys actually uh, did you actually talk about that beforehand? Before you, you guys years ago. So when we, oh, okay. played, when we played volleyball. We I thought I didn't know had... if that was a. I, sometimes I can't tell. No, no. That, if that, you guys come up with stories on the spot. No. Hey, on the spot. Uh, so that's not, why it's called that. It was. <laughs> he said the name of the show on the show. It was not on the spot at all. It was. Uh, we kind of came up with it years and years he ago for, for volleyball. So yeah. Reddit user Orchi made uh, Funhouse pins. Cool. Which the second I said the logo, I was like, that should be a pin. Yeah. It's nice and round. That's where you do. Ooh, good job. You're gonna look real cool. Not yet. Bye, Joel. I'm right back. I know what he's doing. Yeah, right I know here. exactly what he's doing. Um, sassy butt cheeks. Oh boy. Has the it's demo time. Yeah. Let's and have a play on that one. The yeah, uh, the goofy. goofy yeah. It's goofy time. Yeah. No dad, no. Or Steam or many no. other memes. Reddit user Covey182, who I hope <laughs> likes Blink. Uh, is a oh of, my god. Ah! The Adventures of Dude Soup. I love this. The Double comic kill. book. This Double is kill. so wonderful. Bruce, we're looking at fan art. Double kill. This is usually when we actually stop playing the game because we're not using any Double kill. Gameplay. Yeah. All right. Well, you keep playing. My only, my only, uh, the only criticism I have of this, which is like ninety nine percent perfect, is I don't know in what world my hair is lighter than Lawrence's hair. Where, where is that happening? Oh, that's a good point. My hair's ginger. Yeah. Well, you're a ginger weirdo. You do have kind of red hair, facial hair. Sort of. Yeah. You're. You've got. You've got a rock beard. Rock, rock I want that hammock, though. It's a comic book. Either way, no, you do. No, my, no I, my, I, I, have, I have, I have nothing, like nothing negative to say. This is amazing. It's a, yeah, it's, it's my, uh, my favorite part's the sensor bar that just says Bruce's dick. Bruce's dick. That's perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> and I peak, want, peak just watching. Uh, yeah. I want him to send this to us with like a full comic, and uh, I will buy it. I will buy it for a lot of. Money. Actually, I would just, I'd be okay with this in a, in a nice frame. That'd mm -hmm. look really yeah, that, good. That's true. That would be awesome. So oh, yeah, send, awesome. send some high res stuff. We'll take it to Kinkos. Poyo Pio on DeviantArt. Through James benching a Funhouse oh, logo. God, that's glorious. Sailor James, that's fucking massive. I think that's thighs. more of a squad. Hey, look at those legs. Yeah. He's yeah, squatting right. with heels on. You're right, it is a squad. Yeah. yeah. James loves a squad. James, a powerful woman. Though Bruce is more of the Sailor Moon fan. Uh, I'm not a fan. No. I've been watching it recently. Waifu. I like how James has torpedo boobs. They're, they're spheres attached to his yeah. chest. It's wonderful. Well, he had to get implants because he's not actually a woman. 
I know. Uh, that makes his tits wonderful. It, that's, those are kind of like what James' tits look like. Why are you starting a new like? game? Because he uh, loves no, no, Battlefield. It just, it just goes. It just rolls yeah, over. Ready, is king oh, king God. of Ismot. Uh, you got <laughs> little trumpet boys. Boy, oh boy. Having your good time that's a, that's together. A, that's a French horn. That's a, oh, it's a French horn. It's that's a French right. horn. Not a tuba. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to know what the original image looked like. Yeah, you do. I do. There's something hanging down here. Is yeah, that, what is that? Is that, that fabric? No, I think that's like a diaper. Like a, like Ooh, a, a little cloth. diaper. Like a little baby diaper. Hmm. Bruce, be the uh, commander. Nice. Okay, moving uh, on. I have to do it outside of the game. Yeah. Yeah. DJ SMU drew Adam in, in uh, what, Gravity Hammer Armor, I think is what oh, that is. Oh, man, that's awesome. Is that, wait, is that Gundam? No. No. I was looking at this earlier. It doesn't look like, like Halo, actually. No, it's not. It almost... I don't know. You got like weird little like Overwatch maybe? It's I was gonna say it looks kind of like Firefall actually. Yeah, it does. But cooler, and <laughs> it looks like it came out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like a game that people played and had fun with. Yeah. Uh, ev oh, Evolve. That's what it's from. Uh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, so you guys, I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys know this, but Evolve is actually pretty fun. It is I fun. Finally played it. Did it come out? Yeah. Okay. We need to play it. I, uh, really, I really like these these next ones. Yeah, so. Sandy Murray, who actually might be DJ SMU, because DJ SMU posted this to Reddit, but Sandy Murray's a DeviantArt account, so we'll credit it to Sandy Murray 90 over DeviantArt, but drew uh, Scott Pilgrim editions of all yeah, of these. Nice. Super rad. It's, uh, yeah, all the expressions are pretty bang on, even though I know they, they come they come very, you know, very closely from Scott Pilgrim. Not a bad thing. Yeah. But, uh, no, they're wonderful. Adam's, Adam's tired stare, <laughs> Bruce's enthusiastic grin. James's saucy glance. Yeah, his over-the-shoulder wink. <laughs> Matt, Matt Poole, or sorry, Matt Poole. Matt Peaks. Matt Poole. Doe eyes, <laughs> just like more work. Okay. Yeah. Aww. Spool's got his little backpack. He's going on a field trip. Those are great. Yep. Ooh, it's nice. Love it. Uh, and then here's a picture from Pax. Mm -hmm. Milk steak, flying high. Long time. Uh, one of the more Watcher. esoteric viewers we have, but. Watch your fan. Uh, yeah, there, there was it was really cool at PAX. There was a uh, we had a small uh, group, I guess, uh, just call them groupies. I don't know, but it was uh, Edge of Heaven, uh, Milk Steak, Turbid. You can call it a community. Uh, Man Mountain, okay. um, Man Mountain, Kitty Bacon. Wow. Who am I forgetting? I'm forgetting yeah, Man somebody. Mountain was there. I don't She's want to forget Eric. Long way. Was that? Did you already say Eric? Eric was of course Eric was there. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm going off of memory right now. Um, I feel like a dick if I left any of you out, but there was a few of you. Turbid. I said Turbid. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, But those guys were basically roaming around the entire convention together. And I think a so lot of cute. them, I think a lot of them had met for the first time yeah. for that event. And that was like, James brought that up. He said like, how cool is it that there is a group of people that are friends based solely, oh, you missed, based solely on their fascination or their love, <laughs> well, lo a love of a video series. And I was like, mm -hmm. that. It's really flattering. Just Joel. It's actually just Joel. It's just Joel. Joel, Joel brings Joel. everyone. Love of us. Love um, of us. I don't know. It's, it's it one real, thing that I've noticed really cool. is like on the internet, ow, ow. you can have like a lot of people that play Counter-Strike together every night or whatever, and they're like, we should meet up. And then you hang it, you like meet up to get a beer and you just kind of quietly stare at each other and you're like, so uh, you guys like that AUG or like what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what kind of what kind of gun yeah. do you like? And, and you typically don't, Apart from the game and the time you spend together in the game, you don't have a lot personally in common. It sounds like that wasn't the case, though. So no. They, people I mean, are we, making actual friends over the internet. We hung out with them, and then um, we met up at their, I think it was the hotel they were staying at. It was kind of the nearest place where we grabbed dinner, and we did like a, like a last minute, sort of like fan, like super fan meetup, and we just kind of hung out, had some drinks Aww. in the hotel lobby, and it was just really cool to like... Well, not the underage ones, they didn't drink. No, goodness. No, not at all. No, actually... They uh, just got to watch everyone else have I, I I was giving Mad Mountain a hard time, um, just because... I think he does it to himself, but yes. um, he 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 reminds me a lot of Spool actually. Yeah, he Aww. does. Um, and make fun of Spool because I love Spool. Um, so it was like super. He was he was drinking a bunch of uh, Shirley Temples, Aww. and he was like he was like oh my, like my I'm doing a horrible English accent. He's like it's like my stomach's like really I'm like I'm feeling really sick. I can't know if I can put any of these away. I'm like those are virgin, right? He's like yeah. I'm like you're just drinking a lot of sugar, <laughs> and then he, and then he was like oh I can't be bothered. And like puts his head down. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, you're sitting with you're a your teddy bear. Well, you're sitting with your heroes right now, and you're like, I'm bored. <laughs> Just uh, like, <laughs> are we his heroes? Uh, probably not. Yeah. We can be heroes. At, at, don't do that. Don't, don't be that person. Man, no, Man Mountain's heroes. Yeah. Well, at one point, he even said he's like, I don't really play video games. I'm like, who the fuck are you? He just likes. He just I know. Loves. I know. Yep. He's a born wrestler. All right, moving on. We spent too much time here. Acronym oh, CRT is continuing his. Right. Well, I've got to. We got to move let, on. Let it, let it be known that Joel was the one who wanted to move on. Joel's okay. correct. He's right. Actually, I wanted on. to move on too. Yeah, uh, Acronym CLT drew James in his ongoing series. Love it. Yeah, I love this series. Expressive. Wonderful. Uh, Nacho Reichart 
drew drew a couple of a couple of pairings. There's Team Ruben tag. This Ruben is a tag. show that this show should be on adults. Like the, the, these characters, look, all of them look like they should be on adults. Some show like like uh, uh, what's it called? Chan, whatever. What the hell? Break. I think it's time to move on. Move crayon, on. crayon, Shin Chan. What are you talking? Yeah, about? Uh, yeah Shin Chan. Yeah. So this is actually pronounced Team Ruben Tug. Ruben just to make sure you get it right. Eyes. Team Gruel, which is Bruce and Fool. <laughs> gross. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> oh, and then Team eyes. Killums, which is Adam and wow. James. Wow. Nice. Yeah, these look like Shin, Shin Chan characters. I love the little fat cheeks. James' little fat cheeks. <laughs> so good. Uh, LJ Falbel. Oh, yeah. Do an animated, like, uh, I guess. Uh, Jism Jasm. Yeah, Jism Jasm. Uh, Slow down. Is that what they're called? That's like ADHD. Sure. Yeah, ADHD is what I was thinking of. But uh, yeah, that, that new MTV hype. Oh. Thank you, LJ. Smoky Peanut Rick. So yeah. Drew contorted, twisted <laughs> Mario. The corrupted rums. I love yes. him. Screaming through the mush mushroom kingdom with his terrible scoliosis. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Poor Mario. Sorry, buddy. Uh, Candy 225013. Takeaway of the week. Oh. Unbelievable. Uh, touched Un by the hand of God. Unbelievable. I got Joel's butt right in my face. Yep. Who so did okay, so did we ever figure out who that blonde boy in the thong is? I don't care. I love him. I also don't care. Blonde boy in the thong. I didn't notice could, that. Yeah, could be a boy. could be a woman. No. Please. That's that's a that's a man. That's a, butt. Man. That's, uh, a man. that's a boy. Man. Hey, you, see, you can see the ball sack. <laughs> Look, this you can the amount of time and effort <laughs> that went into this this painting on a canvas is Awesome. Astounding. It's one Whoops. of those things that I want to get on a can like an actual canvas and go into an art museum and swap, swap out. out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No one will, no one will notice if you put paint this uh, on the Sistine Chapel. So <laughs> one one detail worth pointing out: Spool's halo says Duff on it. Yeah, yeah it does. Wow, that's it's cool. wonderful. Look Thank yeah. you, Candy. I'm assuming right. that's my you. eyes red though. I can't tell. Uh, actually, no. You look Hooray! pretty. You look pretty. Uh, pretty uh, I'm sober. Not high anymore. Uh, right. Gavin J. Drew the faces of Funhouse. Yeah, I dig it. I like it. It's funny. It's just. It's amazing how people will turn the volume up on your character and capture it perfectly. James does a little little wink. Adam with his disapproving growl. <laughs> Bruce with his "I love everything" <laughs> the, the look giant, of glee. Big smile. Actually, it. wait a second. Not only is your gap in your your lip is not there at all. You have a hair lip. Oh yeah, it's yeah. just teeth. It's Sorry, just teeth all the way up to your bruise, your nose. <laughs> that works. Oh, well, all right. Good. Thanks for that. And show's over. No, don't look at that, Joel. I'm not. Uh, Dylan Summers. We did sign that shirt. Yeah, tweeted out that's the shirt that he had you guys sign. Yeah. Uh, with, uh, James drew the boobs on the back. No, that, that's an eyes. avocado split in half. Actually, no, James oh. said it was uh, his eyes, and yeah. he's always watching him. The eyes uh, are even though technically the eyes are looking away. TJ Willems. Yeah. <laughs> I drew the uh, the Funhouse logo. Okay, I'm going to get a knife kill. That's uh, perfect. He technically got the only oh. Funhouse Mother shirt. Wow. Uh, at PAX. Basically, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't have any uh, Funhouse shirts for sale at the PAX booth. Um, but RTX, oh, we'll be selling them. All right, big you finale. Buy things, Joel. Go, 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 A Lamau. Oh, this is it. Drew the best. Joel oh. as the Goblin <laughs> Jew. He's the Goblin Jew. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, man. I can't decide what I like most we'll do about it. claw hands. The thing, the thing I like most oh, about yeah. it is that it kind of looks like me. It does. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. Oh, yeah. man. I like my little, my little Yoda ears. He's so buff. I like to think that you look like this. <laughs> I'm like tummy buff, though. I've got like a buff tummy. Every time you wake up, you like you throw the sheets off, you like scramble out of bed, like, Meh! and then you like waddle into the bathroom, swaying your arms back and forth. You eat a raw bottle. fish, and then you start to put on your makeup so you look like this. For I just, I, wow. I just the fact that he called him the Goblin Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I think he got that from me. I think yeah, I yeah, said that. Yeah, because we were talking about how I used to be short in all the fan art, and I look like a, a weird little like. Wait, what's this? What's this? He's just chilling. Boop. Oh! 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 His tags and everything. All right. Oh. Fuck me. So, um, do you want to talk about these? Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, so, he actually sent us a card. I've been hiding it in my shoe this whole time. Oh, yeah, I got mine. Let me whip that out. Look at this. This is Lauren's. Whoops! Ooh. So, Form 3D. Uh, we, we showed this on a previous podcast, but he's been busy, or, or she's been... Alexander. He's been busy with his 3D printer. Them. And uh, Alexander Boom. Wessels decided to send us up some of his 3D print stuff. So, thank yeah. you for that. Now we can uh, now we can take our powers into public. Thanks, Alexander. Be Thanks, total man. dorks. You think you think if we like went into a crowded movie theater and shouted "Form of Nerds on the Internet" and then uh, did a pose, how quickly would they ask us to leave? Nice. Look at this guy. Uh, and we just had sex. Who? I guess having a rough day. It's like the ancient Romans, they paved them into the wall. That's <laughs> awesome. I like that people are three D printing us stuff though. That's yeah, that's really great. Cool. That's going on the mic. Sign of the times. So I know. I know. There's a three D printer at the Austin office. I want to make a deal. Thank you, Alexander. <laughs> it would, like if it had that texture on it, it'd be horrible. 
No, but it, it'd, be the, it'd be a dildo that's like me standing up straight like this. As yeah. a as it were, goblin Jew on the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All, all, all of Joe's little the, goblin. He, this is like the little like the little attachment side is my hand. Oh, bro. Oh boy. All right, that's the end of the podcast. That's the end of the podcast. That is the end. We did it.